We're here at Cleveland Islands. This is on the Clinch River. Um, upstream of this area, some years ago, there was a spill that actually caused a lot of the mussels in the area to die off. One of the projects that we're doing at Virginia Tech and with Department of Game and Inland Fisheries and U.S. Fish and Wildlife is we're introducing a lot of back the population into the area. The animals that are being released today were propagated at our Virginia Tech facility and also at the State Fish and Game facility in Marion, Virginia. And so this is a joint release. This is the largest number of endangered animals being released at any particular time. The mussels have been uh, implanted with what's called a pit tag, a passive transponder. And so the idea is that uh, once the animal is buried, we can find them again because it's, we've got a sensitive instrument that can pick up that transponder. What we do is when we come back and monitor for success, we, we have all the information on that individual muscle so we can take it and measure it and compare it to like, if we do this in a year, we can come back and see how much it's grown since the year before. I think the most important thing is that, you know, for these species to survive and to recover, uh, the water quality in the river needs to be really good. It's our mission to try and create and establish new populations to downlist them off of the Endangered Species Act. Everything as far as this ecosystem here, this river ecosystem, there's a lot of links, you know, there's, and freshwater mussels are part of those links. The mussels are basically the natural filtration system of the river, and so water quality is improved by having them here. The foot will come out of this end of the mussel, and then the siphons are at this end. And so when it's sitting in the river, the foot will be down, and the siphons will be open, filtering the water. The Clinch River is still the gem. I mean, it has more endangered species than any other river system in the United States. There are sections that seem to be in recovery. There are sections that are maintaining status quo. And unfortunately, there are sections that seem to be going downhill. And so it's really important for the communities in those places that have water quality problems to take some pride in the river. So this is a very large collaborative project to make all this happen. It gives graduate students and uh, technicians and undergraduate students the opportunity to learn about endangered freshwater mussels. We get them involved in not only producing the mussels, but also doing the research to try and improve the propagation and culture technology. The idea was eventually we'd get to the point where we could propagate enough animals to make a difference in the river. And now this is sort of the culmination of that. So it's sort of good to see not just the animals that are being produced, but also the number of people interested in what's being done.